Hey, what's up guys? This is Krishna here and welcome to this exciting tutorial on Flip Solver Color Max. Let's jump straight into it. I have a sphere here. Uh, just, you know, increase the radius and the uh, Y. And then I have assigned four colors. Red, green, blue and black. And it will switch depending on this expression here. And I've got a switching happening per 12 frames, okay? You can change that if you want, of course. But this is because I want only these colors. Okay, because I could have used, let's say, color attribute adjustment here, this one. But I'm not going to get a constant color with this unless um, I do something else. But anyway, I've got this set up. Okay, and then I also added some velocity. Um, just added a curl noise. That's about it, really. So if I run this, so there it is. It's just changing color. Okay. Okay. So let's let's drop in our flip configure flip L. I think this is yeah, that one. So it's going to bring in a bunch of nodes for us, and there's the input really. And then if I just let apply here it's just gonna drop okay that's about it but we don't need this input but the input is connected here okay so I'm gonna connect this guy as our input here I'm gonna move this across and delete this guy okay perfect now let's have a look at where our input is the input is here I've templated it and I'm going to go ahead and play this and nothing happens. And that is because this particle separation is too low. Okay. So I'm going to drop it down to 0 0.01 and suddenly you can see something here. Okay. If you don't like this kind of spheres, you can go into the flip solver visualization, uncheck this and this will be okay. I'm just going to go ahead and change this background to black or dark. So we can see better, right? I'm going to untemplate this as well. Okay, so we got something here. And I just wanted to set up the ground plane, which is already set up. That's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. As you can see, it is falling on the ground. Okay. There it is. Okay, perfect. Now, the problem is that I want continuous emission. Okay, this is just dropping once. Um, obviously, that's no good. So to do that, flip sop solver. You just go to this flip boundary and disable this. Because if you look at it, this is only enabled on the first frame. So I just want to delete it. So it's always enabled. Now, it is a continuous emission. As simple as that. Okay, there you go. So now... You can see it's dropping. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to just drop this down a lot. Let's say 0.5 actually. I'm going to take this up to 120. It's done its 120 frames. And I'm just going to take a screen grab off this, okay? And, but you can clearly see that there's no color mixing happening here, okay? One of the things that I want to point out before we go any further is that over here in uh, flip tank actually you have your attributes now if you kill this color you're not going to get that color transferred across okay so you need to have this set up if it isn't already set up it's good to add the rest attribute as well uh, i'm going to leave the viscosity for now but i'm going to uncheck the varying viscosity and change this to 2.5 okay and add slip on collision to 0.5 really this we don't have a collider as such except for the ground plane, so we don't need to do any of this, but anyway. Um, so next thing is I want to dive into the SOP solver here and create another SOP solver inside of it. And then connect it to the force dive in attribute transfer. And then and connect both the inputs to that one. And here I want to bring in CD. Okay. But 
here's where the magic happens. Okay, so I'm going to change this to 0.2 and 0.1. Okay, distance is 0.2 and blend is 0.1 so that it blends nicely. Okay, I'm going to run this through here and we will see what happens anyway. Okay, it starts off a little bit weird. Uh, it's not meant to be black, but you know, I don't know if th this could be a problem with the actual viewport. So I'm going to go ahead and kill that and get a new viewport here. Yeah. It is a viewport problem. I don't know why that happens, but anyway. Right, there you go, it's dropping. And the green is coming in. But notice that the color isn't mixing as such. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enable this for this time being to look at the actual polygon soup here. See. There is some mixing going on here, but not a lot. Okay. Right. It's just uh, frame number 35 here. Uh, let me see if I can go back. All right. I'm going to use this side. Going to flip solver again in the geometry. Uh, sorry, the solver. See this max sample count? This is what makes the difference. I'm going to change this to 25. And I'm going to run this guy one more time. I'm just going to run it from here first. You can see already the green and the red constitutes or becomes orange. As you can see, it is orange on the corners there. As you can clearly see that there is pink here. That means that the mixing is happening. And this is the trick. There you go. And that's really what I wanted to show you today. Uh, I'm not showing the uh, rendering part, but you know it's simple enough I guess uh, you can just use redshift and you just set this up for particle fluid and render this out uh, there are some things that you might want to do uh, for example in the solver increase the sub steps to two which will help quite a bit I'm gonna kill this fluid behavior this enforced particle separation helps with the meshing part okay well that's what I figured anyway all right that's it uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, if this was helpful, please uh, give me a like, thumbs up. All right, cheers. Good day.